This is our main barn. We use it primarily as a special needs barn. We call these guys our underfoot family for, for obvious reasons. <laughs> and this is the amazing Rambo. I'm 16 and going strong. This animal is the most remarkable animal I have ever met. And he is why we have an underfoot family. He actually has informed CAS practice. He came from an animal hoarder. It was our first cruelty situation. There were 17 animals locked in a stall, a very small stall. One was a dead cow. Uh, the other animals were adopted. Rambo was very violent and nobody would consider adopting him. And we realized after a time that he was severely claustrophobic. Well, that should have been obvious anyway, because he was locked in a tiny space with 17 animals. So we neutered him. That helped him relax a little bit. We made his bed out here. And he's literally the only animal who roams freely 24 hours a day, because he must. If you try to put him in a stall, he'd knock the door down. The first night that I realized, oh, we've got a remarkable teacher here. I went from stall to stall to stall to check on the animals. And for some reason, we had forgotten to bring the, our two turkeys who were living with us at the time, one of whom was blind, in that particular night. Well, it was November. It was sleeting. And there are coyotes that roam through. So I walked right past the stall where the turkeys were living. And it didn't register with me that the door was open. So I checked on everybody, gave everybody their treats, went to the end of the barn and said, good night, animals. He got up. He was right here. He got up. He ran up to me. He looked up at me and went, bah. And I said, show me what's wrong. Because he was telling me something was wrong. He walked back. He walked into the empty turkey stall. He turned around and looked at me. He knew those birds were out there. He knew they weren't supposed to be. He figured out how to tell a human being. He knew that I would help them, which made me understand that he gets what this place is. And he had empathy. A sheep who had never known kindness had empathy for two animals who were in trouble and knew that I would help them. And that moment changed my life.